G'day everyone, Rising Fun Gaming here, and welcome to my tutorial on how to quickly make Zenny in Monster Hunter Generations. This is a method that works towards the end of the game, as it's fighting an endgame monster. This is Yukanlos. He won't appear until you've gotten your HR break after defeating the end Elder Dragon and also reaching HR 60. This involves breaking his back and quitting with the sub target to sell off his lucrative bits. We're going in with a gun which is highly suggested here. This particular one is the Gold and Silver Wrath one. It's got a nice internal shot, level 2 pierce fire and basically we just want to get in critical distance and break his back. You don't have to use this particular gun, you can use whatever you like just as long as you're confident in breaking its back. Um, you can get right in close in critical distance here. You shouldn't be too scared because if you're aiming nicely you're not going to get hit by any attacks because you should be able to get the initial back flinch before he can attack you, but yeah, you can see it's very, very fast. These quests in solo, using a gun with good technique, is going to take you anywhere from 30 to 35 seconds, and obviously that time is going to be lessened with some friends in there helping you out. As for the quest rewards, we're going to expect anywhere from about 17k up to 50 to 60k, depending on how lucky you get with the material drops. I'd say a good solid average to expect is anywhere from 20 to 25k per run, which is pretty good. Okay, some tips and considerations for this particular run. I would highly suggest that you use a gun, as I deem it to be the most efficient and least dangerous weapon to use. If you're not traditionally a gunner, I'd say that it's time to learn, and doing this quest with friends is actually a very fun way to learn the gun. Busting the back out of the poor you can lose can uh, be very, very fun and you'll discover the awesome, awesome internal ammos. And speaking of which, you want to find a gun with a great internal ammo. In the example, we were using level two fire pierce, which I find to be really nice, but there's some really, really cool ones spread across a range of different gun skins or gun models. Um, for example, the dazzling ammo type is really, really cool as well. Um, you can pretty much shoot it as soon as you enter the area. It shoots really fast with high attack power and um, yeah it's a really good one as an extra example but yeah experiment see what works the best for you don't waste time eating before the quest it is never necessary especially if you've set up your hunter with some nice armor skills for your guns um, so just don't do it it's not it's not needed load your gun in camp before entering now you especially want to be doing this if you're doing solo runs because you don't want to aggro the you can loss whilst you're spending time uh, loading your weapon because that just gives him more time to react and run you down so load it before you head into the area that he is in you want to also think about using a depth style just in case you screw up especially if you're in solo again because you know it doesn't always turn out to be the best run for you you might whiff a few shots and before you know it the Ucanlos is running you down so as a bit of a backup it's nice to have the adept style just so that you can easily adept evade away from him because you know if he's charging you down it's a very hard thing and a very big hitbox to try to run away from now the last tip I guess is highly situational I guess if you've got a group of supportive friends you might be able to get away with using the luck armor skill at the expense of perhaps some of your other attack boosting or you know gunning focused armor skills if you've got enough people in your group and you can stay as efficient or pretty much as efficient as usual and still get away with wearing armors that have the luck armor skill on it, then why not? It's going to potentially increase the amount of rewards you get and hence the amount of money you make and it's going to make it overall more efficient for you in your money making schemes. So again, if you're in a group of supportive friends that are not going to kick you for going in with the luck armor skill, Perhaps you want to go in with the full set of Deviant Uragan or whatever with a gun. Um, the choice is yours. That's always an option to consider.